Hi, it's Miss Redigan here, and today we're still studying gases. We have some gas um, air trapped in the balloons here, and we're going to take a look what happens to those particles as we manipulate and change pressure. Now, you've seen this in a previous video, but we're going to go in both directions. We're first going to decrease. Okay. So I'm going to use the vacuum pump here. It's going to decrease the pressure. So watch the balloons. So the pressure around the balloons is what's decreasing, not inside the balloon, around the balloon. And you can see that's clearly affecting the volume. Okay, so you can see as the pressure around the balloon or outside the balloon decreased or lessened, that changed the volume. Now we're going to take this back to atmospheric pressure. We're going to increase the pressure around the balloon. Okay. And watch the change. Okay, now you might have expected that, right? Um, what goes up must come down, that kind of thing. Okay, but I want you to think about why. Okay. What's happening to the particles inside that balloon? We know what's happening around it. Around it, we went from low pressure, and now it's higher pressure in here around the balloon. Well, what's happening inside the balloon? What are the particles doing as that pressure went from very low pressure on the outside to much higher pressure pushing in on it? Right. So in your counterclaim reasoning, really think about that. Okay. We went from very low pressure, and we know the balloon was much larger, and as the pressure increased, the volume went down. Don't think about what's happening to the particles out here as much as what's happening to the particles in here. Okay, write about um, particle collisions with their container, the balloon. Write about particle movement. Okay, write about pressure and volume. Focus in on those particles. Good luck.